The New Jersey's Governor Council on Mental Health Stigma presents the 2011 Ambassador Award Education to Collier High School for its extraordinary contribution to the efforts to raise mental health awareness and combat st stigma. My name is Ray Bach. It's been my privilege to be the principal at Collier High School for 24 years. Um, this is going to be difficult because I will tell you that first I need to thank the Baker family, uh, Trisha Kurt and Caitlin Baker. Their son Kenny was a student at our school and lost his life to the ravages of mental illness uh, a few days and a few years ago. Um, in their time of greatest grief, they turned to us to offer their thanks and support, even though he was at our school and could not do enough to save Kenny. In the immediate aftermath, aftermath of his death, I cannot tell you how comfort, comforting it was to have their family thank us for all that we did when their pain was so new and so intense. For them to continue to be thankful to us and to nominate us for this award is more humbling than I can put into words. The work that we do is very, very humbling work in this field. Every day, and at times, moment to moment, we interact with youth whose courage is greater than we can, we can humanly comprehend. <coughs> Kenny Baker was one of those youth with tremendous courage. His suffering from mental illness was at times obvious and tangible, and yet in a short time at Collier, Kenny's true self was evident and he showed himself in a way that won the hearts of our staff and our peers. As an educator and a mental health practitioner, to be witness to the pain mental health, health brings to a family, or mental illness brings to a family, is not comfortable to say the least. I have a memory of his mom, Tricia, driving to school whenever necessary to get him to the doors of Collier when he could. To know what days he could make it and what days he couldn't, this, they lived almost an hour away. Uh, some days she could drive him there, but he, and he managed to get into the doors, and then he was fine. Some days she drove him, and he could not, and the pain was too great. I can vividly remember talking with Kurt, Kenny's dad, on the phone because I had talked to Kenny, who had, I had called on his cell phone from the woods because he came in the car, Tricia came in. He was afraid that I would go out to the car and try and talk him into coming to school, coming into the building, and he knew that his pain was too great on that day, and he ran. And I remember talking to Kurt about making sure that Kurt had been in contact with him, and Kenny, he was going to pick Kenny up at a corner in a gas station and, and drive him home. Um, to witness their pain, Kurt and Trisha, from a distance, um, as they desperately tried to find answers uh, to his pain, was very, very difficult. Um, answers that would not come soon enough. I wonder what if this, the stigma of mental illness were not present? Would that have made a difference? Would Kenny have received help quicker, sooner? Would the desperate fight for answers have come sooner? Would Kenny have been able to see beyond his pain at all that he had? His loving, devoted, and supportive family to see all who loved him, to see all of his gifts. You see, Kenny was very blessed. He was creative, very intelligent, funny, and he had a warm heart and was a friend to all. And yet all of that wasn't enough to quiet his pain and his time ran out. The stigma attached to mental illness had to play a part in this. To be nominated by a family who has turned this tragedy into such a powerful and tremendous <coughs> movement to eliminate stigma is nearly too much for us at Collier to accept. We are so thankful to the Bakers for the recognition of what we try to do in our own small way. And we were moved by the words of Tricia Baker in her nomination letter, some of it which you've heard. I want to read another small excerpt. Every student at Collier has been marked by stigma. But at Collier, the mark disappears, or rather gets transformed into something wonderful. Strength of character. This alchemy happens not by chance, but by design. When treated with great regard, when your quirks are found endearing and not irritating, when instead of jeers, your peers give you cheers, something happens in your soul. You begin to believe in yourself. When you are called
called upon to reach out to others, to join clubs, to take part in the play, do community service, all with your head held high, changes you. That mark on your head, that thing you, that weighed you down, that you wanted to shake off or erase, it has become a badge of courage. It is now a power within you to exceed all expectations and defy all limits. This is the Collier experience, a place that honors the promise in every student who has the good fortune to find its doors. For these reasons, I believe Collier High School deserves the Ambassador Award. I want to thank you, Baker family, thank all of you. The work that you do here is really so important. Every step and every progress made towards eliminating the stigma of mental illness will go a long way in making our, our work at Collier that much more doable. And we are honored and privileged to do our own small part. Thank you.